All right, you see, every year, camera manufacturers keep producing new cameras, all right? And they keep producing new lenses, you know? Cameras that can shoot up to 4K, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second. Um, lenses that can shoot as fast as 1.2, um, 0.9. New lenses, new cameras every year with new and better capacities. A lot of newbies get distracted by all of this, especially wedding filmmaker, because there's this um, ego of I'm using the latest camera that was just released. But the truth is, as important as your lenses or your camera is, your audio is also very, if not much more important. Now, today, basically, as a wedding filmmaker, I'm going to be sharing with you my audio equipment I use on a typical wedding day as a wedding filmmaker based here in Nigeria. I'm also going to be sharing with you, um, in case the audio equipment I'm going to be listing here today will be a little bit above your budget, I'm going to be sharing with you budget-friendly um, alternatives that you can use that can get you the same or close to the same quality. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's go to my first um, equipment for um, the day, uh, which happens to be an audio recorder. All right, guys, so this, this is my audio recorder. Is the Tascam dr 4 DR40, this is Tascam DR40, this is the audio recorder that I use for my um, um, uh, for my wedding day. Uh, it has never failed, I've used it for the past four years now, um, and it has functioned very well. Um, I have no issues whatsoever with this audio recorder. It's an amazing, um, it, it is strong, very strong, and I love it too. So I won't talk about the technicalities behind it. You can go online and um, read about it. Um, there are other, other manufacturers, I'm, I'm not saying Tascam is the best, but I just love Tascam. Um, uh, there are Zoom, there's Zoom, for those of you who prefer Zoom, there's Zoom. Um, but I get everything I need from this audio, so I don't see any reason why I should overkill myself. The sound that comes out of this is clean, it's amazing, clean wave. I can always you know, go to my um, audition and clean it the way I want it to clean, and it's... But the, the, the audio that comes out of this is amazing. Uh, it has two um, audio inputs, uh, the left and the right. Uh, it can accept uh, both jack into this place and the uh, male um, cables into this place. We'll talk about cables later on in this video. Um, so basically, this is my audio recorder. I won't go to anybody's about this audio recorder. If you watch my YouTube channel before I got this lapel, which we we'll also talk about uh, soon, later in this video, uh, it can also record audio from this part of the head. Now, this audio recorder should be less than two hundred dollars. You you can get this less than two hundred dollars. Uh, one thing I do tell a lot of people is this: if you can't get this, you can get the Zoom H1, which is cheaper than this one. But one thing I do tell people is, in business, yeah, it's better for you to buy one original thing, you know, and that will last you for a long time than to buy several. Um, fake things now i'm not saying the h1 the zoom h1 can't last long but the zoom h1 only accepts um a quarter inch just like um, the cables that goes into your um into your uh, microphone they are really small so because it doesn't have this big um jack that is the smaller one that it accepts and not every dj has um that um mount so you have to get a cable which i recommend but one thing i do tell people sometimes the um audio coming from the dj might be too loud for your each one even though when you are at um a zero db it's still very loud uh there's a solution for that but instead of you going through that stress why don't you just get you know this and you can use for as long as you want so this is my first um equipment i will always recommend for every wedding filmmaker to get an audio recorder an audio recorder everybody knows an average wedding in nigeria always has a dj and a band i've shot a wedding before where they had two band and a dj i mean the couple the bride had a band the groom's family also had the, the bride's family had a band the groom's family also had a band a band and they had a dj so and i was using just this all right so 
for now in this video i will tell you how i was able to like um i i <laughs> i think i should just share it so basically what i do is that i'll plug two cables you know i'll plug one cable with the dj i'll plug one cable with the band do you understand that's for those of you that cannot afford to so i'll pl if the dj is performing probably couple are dancing in they will, they always use dj because they want the whole um dance 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 so i plug this with the dj and but whenever the mc is speaking they mostly use the dj's mic and whenever the chairman is speaking they mostly use the dj's mic so it is plugged to the dj but whenever they want to switch to the band probably the couple's parents are dancing or they want to have a um, couple parents dance you know they want to switch to dj because i've already given a cable to um to the band guys so i just stop this take it over to the uh band guys and plug it uh, it's stressful but i mean you you it's you know it's safer for you to have a good audio and be stressed that day i mean they paid you so either you get two audio recorder and plug on both sides but you can do like me plug two cables there and you know whenever they want to switch you give switching you know it's stressful but i mean that's what we'll do for now so that's it for audio recorder now the second thing i recommend i'm currently using it now is this uh this is the tascam dr10l um i use this you can see it's mic'd up here i use it for like a vows and i put this on groom so whenever groom uh giving maybe the couple are giving their vows i put this on the groom um it also picks because they will be facing couple will be facing each other so it also picks you know the groom's voice and i can bring it to my um or um my system then boost out where the uh, the bride is speaking so it can be leveled with that of the um so it can be leveled with that of the groom so i'll boost it up so it can be leveled with that of the groom so they are not so the, the groom is loud and the bride is cool so at least level that up so task can be out there so this one is in recording marriage vows and also probably i want to interview a couple of our friends these are what this is the equipment i, I actually use an amazing equipment i actually got it white version basically because you know most brothers always put on white you know dress so this white will match them and some groom also wear white but most uh, groom wear black but i mean we keep out more for the bride than the groom but i just said you just get white uh, for um for myself so it doesn't matter the color you get the is the quality of the uh output that matters so for my second audio equipment i would advise anyone to get is the uh lapel mic now in the situation whereby you don't have the money because this this is less than 200 dollars as well uh in the situation whereby you can't afford this so one of the things I did in the past is that my audio recorder, I got this um, lapel mic. I think I got it then for around 5,000 Naira, uh, 5,000 Naira. So what I do is, is it, it came with this particular stuff, just like this. So I just insert this here. I think I got around 10,000 Naira or thereabouts or less, 10,000 Naira, that's less than, less than $20. So this goes inside here then i interview so this is a cheaper version i mean this is the cheapest version you can get so in case you don't want to buy this i would ask to buy this so it can do the multiple purpose so once you get this you get this you know ten thousand naira. so you can do your interview in the morning then take it off whenever you're done probably in during the church service use plug the dj or the church this thing and you're good the only downside to this is that it's ugly and bulky it will get the job done which that is all that matters getting the job done but it is you no know, that it looks like a skipping rope <laughs> and um it, i don't know but that's it that's the cheapest option i think anybody should go below so even though you don't have the even if you have your um your um h1 that's what you can afford you can still well get this you know there's one even uh, there's one of more quality than this from boya there's even one from road road mic also that works very fine so you can just plug that to your h1 uh the cheaper version that i say you can get for audio recorder like this then you can plug it and that would also work fine you understand and as well in a situation where you are you don't have this you can also use the upper parts of this your audio recorder and record also 
the only thing is that uh, is that you are further away so that your camera doesn't see it, or you only use the audio of the vis of the video and not use the video because this is very bulky and it will be very obvious in your video whenever you are shooting a um, brighter uh, or couples um, vows or whatsoever. You get my point. So that is the only option I think that I know of. You know, if you have a better option uh, for people that do not have lapel like this, let me know in the comments below. But this is the cheapest option that I know of. You have your audio recorder, you get a cheaper, a cheap lapel, or if you can get a good, just get a reasonable lapel, and um, you are fine. So that's basically uh, a, a, a budget option for this one. Right, so basically, we'll be talking about audio. So I've spoken to you guys about my audio recorder from that I use in recording audio from the soundboard and I've also told you about my lapel uh, that I use to you know take vows and also mic the groom for property and on the altar and there's no mic from George so they, I can get audio from both the bride and the groom and that gives me more room to even though they say mic you know but that gives me better uh, audio option to choose it as you choose the one I recorded from the church you know soundboard or directly from uh, my lapel so how do i now you know i told you earlier that there are times whereby uh because i only have one audio recorder so there are times whereby i have to record audio from dj audio from band in an average nigeria wedding band and dj so i'm going to be showing you a couple of cables that i own i don't know their technical names but i know what there's a name i call them so you see <laughs> all of these are my cables um I'm gonna be going through majority of them and so let's get started. Um now this is a, a jack to female. I call this female because it has an opening. I'll show you the male, then you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> so don't see it to be something different. So this is female, I call it female. Uh, there's a name that is being called the technical name, but I'm not an audio technician, so I can't say, but I call it female, and this is a jack. So this is female, a female to jack or jack to female, whichever you want to call it. Now, one of the common ones that a lot of time you will use that I will, you must get is a jack to jack, because there are times where the only thing that you have is a jack. And looking for your audio recorder can take in jack and most of DJs like collecting jack because it's easy to just plug and play so jack to jack okay beautiful now this is a female to male this is what I call it a female to male so this has an opening for entrance this has a strong pointed um, pin <laughs> that goes in like this. So that's why I call this female and this is male. So sometimes DJs prefer the female because they have jack opening. So you can just put it and put this inside your own audio recorder and it work well. So that's for this. Um, so this is a male to jack. All right. So there are situations whereby um, they, they have a, a, a female pot and they take, give them jack. So you have this jack. So most of the times, I'm always with my, all my cables. So whenever I do say, oh, this is what I have, I can give them. When I go to meet my, um, the band guys, I'm like, what do you guys have? I'm like, oh, we want jack. I was like, you know what, since you want jack, I've given my, given my jack to jack, to the DJ, but you can have this jack and I'll have this meal and I'm fine. So it's not left for me. Whenever they are going, switching from DJ to, uh, band. I'm just gonna unplug my audio recorder from the DJ or have my assistant do that for me. Then it's, we switch over to the band. So that way, there's, an, it, there's a cable here, there's a cable here, and we are fine. Now, for those of you that we, you can't afford um, an audio recorder that can accept cables like this, so when you're getting your H1, which is quite cheaper, um, you'll be needing audio audio um cables like this because this is the kind of audio cables you'll be able to use to insert into your um audio recorder 
why this goes to the DJ. So this is the audio you will need. Uh, I think it's quarter inch to jack. I think they call this thing quarter inch. I don't know the technical technical name, but this is these are the names I call them male, female, technical. Uh, sorry, uh, quarter inch uh, jack to a full jack. There's also another one. I think I left that one um, somewhere. I also have one down that is like this pin is like red um red and yellow um cables that goes to jack so you can also also get that because there are sometimes there are some djs that especially during the trad the 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 djs don't set up full they only set up just a small portion because the trad uh is different from the reception or the same event so they just set up a portion of it in the morning for the trad which sometimes the the setup their mixer they only set the small mixer which can only accept this so this goes in there and this goes to, to my audio recorder so that's how i basically record my audio for every event i have my audio recorder and various cables i also have my lapel uh, which i is doing vows and the like so and i'll show you guys the cheaper version of everything i use you can get cheaper version ones but here is it uh, if you if you if you take your time and do your analysis properly, you discover the that the price you will, the price you will spend on buying those cheaper or budgeted version, it's always like fifty thousand naira or a hundred dollar difference. So why don't you just close your eyes and buy it once and for all? I know you are you are covered for any type of event. That's the way I think as a businessman. So the summary of this whole tutorial is instead of you focusing on new camera, uh, the latest lens, focus on your audio um, gears. You know, invest also in um, your audio. You understand? Because the audio that comes out from your camera are not as good as audio. I mean, you can hear this mic currently. That's what I'm using currently now. You can hear how clean and crisp my audio, my voice is. To get my point so basically that's just it uh for today so i hope you find value for this as a wedding filmmaker and i hope to drop more tutorials like this uh, i'll be drawing a tutorial on how i set up my my settings for my task cam and also my settings for my um task cam audio recorder dr40 and the dr10l T T so let me know if you if you want me to do that in the comments below then i'll set show you guys my settings uh, for the wave settings and how I set up my audio to get the best out of my audio equipment. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's tutorial. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and share this video and love this video. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. Let me know in the comment be below uh, what next you want me to talk about uh, wedding filmmaking. You know, and I'll be you know try my best to you know share my little uh, one cobble or one cent you know that i know so without further ado thank you guys for watching my tutorial today and i'll see you guys some other time bye